we're getting to the meat and potatoes of this M117 engine rebuild. I'm going to be putting the heads back on uh, to make my life a little bit easier, I think. I don't know. I don't know if it's easier. I'm going to put the front cover on first. Why am I going to put the front cover on first? Because the front cover contains two sets of mating faces. Once you put this on, you can just put the head gasket flat on, heads on, and not have to deal with trying to sneak it in there. Other one is the bottom oil pan. That's another ceiling flange which also holds the oil pump and whatnot. If you have all of this connected here, you are not fighting two planes, or I guess one plane at a time, this one or this one at the bottom. Um, you put both of them, you just put everything on, and there you go. You just have to remember to install everything here. And then uh, what I'll try doing is draping the uh, oil pump and timing chains. I'm going to flip the block upside down to have easier to let the chains droop down. And hopefully we should be okay without even having to rotate the crankshaft to uh, get the, the, everything to line up where we should. A couple pieces missing here. You have the uh, gear, which contains the gear to run the um, distributor here and also the hydraulic leveling pump. That's one. And here uh, goes in just an idler um, cam, uh, idler sprocket that, you know, the chain kind of does this thing. Also, there's a guide here, a guide here, and there's the two guides in the heads. And there's another long guide here, which I'm going to take you through now how to renew the lining plate. Forgot to hit record. <laughs> uh, I'm renewing this shoe on this guy plate. This guy you just bust off so you can see distinctly where the wear is. And what I'm trying to do is just slide this guy down here while simultaneously grabbing this. four o-rings you have to replace these are for the heater return this is the water pump in you notice i already have my new guide here for the oil pump chain
heads back on and uh, all these bolts are just ran in hand tight. All the cylinders are placed in a below top uh, position. So we got some room if these valves compress a bit. Um, torque specs on this head. These cam to head bolts that do not penetrate into the block. These go, these are M10, they go to 50 Newton meters. The um, front M8 bolts that go head to timing cover. Um, there are five in total, one, two, three, four, five, 25 Newton meters. And the head bolts get done in a few stages. So check that out. Again, lightly oil, thread, and uh, underneath the head, anywhere there's a contact surface, 30 Newton meters, six, uh, then 60 Newton meters. Wait 10 minutes for everything for the gasket to settle in. And then one by one, you pop the bolt to zero torque and go to 60 Newton meters. And then the next bolt, the next. Flip it to this side. Head gasket is set for well over 10 minutes now. So these front bolts are not torqued. They have not been torqued because I'm going to loosen it. Once these are tight, these will get tightened down as well. And uh, these cam tower bolts do not get retorqued. It's only one by one. And I'm going to do, you know, quarter turn loosen and then back to 60. And we'll see. All these are marked. Most of them took about 90 degrees. So we'll see how much uh, each of these fasteners moves. So that's nice. It lined right back up. I'll show you on a on a bolt up here a little bit closer. But that 60 marked it right up. So I'm going to mark it with the down arrow. <laughs> 